Good morning, welcome to today's RC Coffee Chat. Now, pop the kettle on, because mine's a black one. Stirred, not shaken. <laughs> okay, in today's topic, today might be a flying day. We'll look at the weather in a moment, because it's not very nice out there at all. Uh, also, thank you to everybody who watched and chipped in with the episode yesterday. I felt it was about time that I put an episode like that together uh, to get everything out in the open and give you like some history to myself and how the channel started, etc, etc. And I've still lost a model and I've still not found her. The Hornet is still missing in action. Oh, and the uh, other topic for today is Andrew Newton's diving videos. Now, I did mention, I'll, I'll come back to that one in a moment, okay? So, today might be a flying day. Uh, so, where have we got? Uh, look, we it's currently uh, about minus three here at the moment. Uh, everything is white and there is a delicious covering of frost everywhere and I've just looked up through the valley uh, and that is black clouds all the way so we are due some rain what a fantastic combination some rain and some frost that's gonna work out well uh, but on a very serious note uh, here in Bristol we do have uh, some sunshine well we have a bit of sunshine and showers at 11 and looking around 12 uh, it looks good for flying and relatively low wind Happy days, today is gonna to be a flying day. I've been cooped up in this office for far too long. I need to escape a flying model. <laughs> uh, so if you are also flying today, uh, enjoy your flying day. And if unfortunately you've got some of the wet stuff with you, uh, I'll chuck a battery on for you and rag the nuts off. So I can... It works both ways, doesn't it? Uh, now, next one is the video which I popped out yesterday, uh, which was uh, how this channel started. Uh, and a little bit more about myself and yeah thank you if you've watched that episode if you've not seen that episode go pause now and go and watch it and you'll understand how this channel started literally by accident I it was my intention at some point to start a YouTube channel uh, and this one just kind of happened by accident it's just the way things happen with me they just I just turn up and do stuff and stuff just happens it's yeah there, there's a saying uh, in that video uh, which is basically uh, it can't be that hard can it and um, I think my correct terms on it were fuck it let's go and do it and that is me that is me that's my I was here preparing that doc and the wife was sat next to me he's like look Matt you missed that you're saying I was like what have I missed and she said well it can't be that hard can it screw it let's go and do it uh, and that came out of the wife. <laughs> just, that's just how I'm wired, you know. Uh, there was quite a funny comment uh, in there by Andrew Newton, actually. Uh, you're not alone, Pat. In theory, I speak the lang same language as Matt, and I can hardly understand him at times. Yes, it's called Bristolian. Uh, it's just like English, uh, but with a load of slang uh, and a, the odd swear word thrown in as well. Uh, so yeah, if you did comment on that video, I 100% appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I feel better for getting that episode out now. Uh, it's been in the back of my mind for quite a while. Uh, so yeah, it's out there now. That's happy days. And like I said, with YouTube, uh, in many of the comments, it's YouTube, you turn up and you be you, or in my case, me, be me. And this is just me. I get excited about RC models uh, and Yes, they uh, can be very, very addictive. The next topic uh, is, yeah, the Hornet. She's still missing. Missing in, well, not even missing in action. She's missing somewhere from the flying site to my house. Still got another one being built here. It won't be ready for flying today. I've been busy with work. Um, so yeah, it's part glued up, but it still needs quite a lot of love, uh, AKA the video transmitter, the battery compartment cutting out, the servos going in, the winglets going on, a paint job. Uh, oh, I found a can of pink spray paint, which the wife had bought the kids. So I think I'm going to do like a hexagon. I, I kind of sold in my head that I want to do a hexagon, 
uh, styled uh, like paint job on it after seeing Seven Demo Sevens uh, Foddy. Uh, so I will have a stab at that. Probably it will probably come out quite bad, but we'll see. It's got to be worth a punt. Can't be that, can it? So you know the rest of that. Saying. Now, the last topic for today, which I've got in my notes, and I've seen that I've got two other notes, well, one other tab open there, uh, is Andrew Newton. Uh, you may not know this, but apparently Andrew Newton likes diving as well, not only model airplanes. And uh, if you go to his YouTube channel and then click on the videos tab at the top, and then there's like this load more button at the bottom, just keep pressing load more, and you just keep going down, load more, load, you have to go like, like six, seven times down, a minimum. Uh, to get down to them uh, and you'll find out that Andrew is also a diver as well have a look uh, at some of his episodes like so when I said I consumed every single one of not only Sir Andrew Newton's episodes uh, even the the older stuff in there I wasn't kidding uh, I've watched every single flight test episode out there seven demo seven <laughs> watched all of his and there's new uh, X-Jet uh, RC model reviews. Uh, it was Bruce uh, on the flight line with two AXNs doing figures. Well, no, they were coming. Yeah, they were doing figures of eight that way around. I still like remember the video in my head it's playing back there. It's they were just doing two figures of eights with AXNs chasing each other, and that's uh, the video which prompted me to go on and buy an AXN uh, and learn to fly after starting with quadcopters and not getting on particularly well. The other channel which I didn't mention uh, in that episode or in that video was Painless360. Uh, what's his name? Lee Schofield. Uh, I've watched every one of Lee's episodes pretty much. Uh, I learned how to solder up and all the details behind uh, a quadcopter. I admit my first one was a CC3D Revolution, uh, which I put into my quadcopter. Uh, sorry, into my quad. Uh, and it was only recently I changed it over to a NAS A32 uh, and sh uh, unbelievably it's still here in one piece. I bought a couple of spare arms and I've not broken an arm. I've broken motors, I've broken propellers, I've broken cameras, I've hit everything going with the quad uh, and I mean everything, yeah, every tree in the garden I've hit, uh, the scaffolding, the house, I've never hit myself, thank goodness, touch wood. Um, yeah and like I said, my ability to consume YouTube content is, um, or my lust for YouTube content is absolutely crazy. And I, I don't normally watch TV. So YouTube, th that was the reason behind me setting up this channel was that I needed something on a daily basis. I'm sure that you can appreciate that as well. How fantastic would it be to have a flight test episode every single day or two times a day or three times a day someone had to step up uh, and get somewhere close to that now obviously my video editing skills are nowhere near flight test and plus they cheat they've got a big team <laughs> so that was the topics for today uh, today is going to be a flying day i'm just wondering what i'm going to be flying uh, the weather does look good so that will be the phantom fx61 uh, the mini talent build is still not complete and again that's probably one of the major reasons why I was pissed off about those IP crazy antennas the video transmitter kits turn up the receiver kits here and then the antennas turn up and you'll understand why I posted that video I was quite um, frustrated with that uh, and I'll take a couple line of sight models as well um, yeah that's where I am right now so yeah, happy days. If you are out flying today, have a fantastic day. I did also check in on Hobby Bulls uh, Cybo November. Nothing. Again, we, we've we just got the same items. The goggles which we had originally. Some turn Oh, I saw those Tony G tools. Martin had those on Facebook, I think. They do look super good quality. Uh, and the Quantum uh, 2 goggles... Apparently they're a bit heavy on the nose, but besides that, uh, they are really, really good quality ones. Uh, and I still not looked in tanks because, um, i give you a heads up, is that I used to be quite a hardcore PC gamer uh, from the days of Team Fortress Classic uh, into Counter-Strike, into Counter-Strike Source. Uh, 
uh, and also World of Tanks as well. One of the uh, most viewed videos which I've got on YouTube uh, is where to shoot in World of Tanks. And again, that was just a video which I put together to help other people and it's had something like half a million page views or uh, video views on it. Um, still gets comments pretty much every day or every other day on there as well. So it is a little bit old now, uh, but the theory still applies to that. Uh, you just look for a weak spot and you shoot there. That's the basic summary of that episode. Uh, and yeah, happy days. Uh, there is or has been a lot going on in the Facebook group. I've seen that I've got 20 notifications and a shed load of messages, probably about flying today. Uh, I will get to those later in a minute. I'm going to sit back and enjoy my cuppa. So with that said, if you are out flying today, have a fantastic day's flying. If you're not, maybe it's a build day instead. So the next time you go out flying, you've got a new model or maybe an improved model while you're out there uh, and I will be chucking a battery in for you. Oh, uh, an update on the C1 Chaser. Uh, it is my intention to fit a vector into the C1 Chaser. You saw me a couple of uh, episodes ago. Uh, I made that mezzanine or that platform to go above the battery. Uh, I will be putting a vector in there. However, I would really, really like a run cam camera to go on the front uh, and I've got one spare run cam and now it's been mounted uh, on top of the Mini Talon. So I'm running low on decent FPV cameras. Uh, so I've got uh, two owls on the way to me. Now the reason why I chose the run cam owl is because the one which I've got here, the, the colors are just amazing. Now, put it, let me just put this into perspective. The run cam Swift, is a fantastic FPV camera. When I swapped out the board cam which I was using uh, in the mm, sad days, uh, Hornet FPV wing, uh, the difference was night and day. And the Owl is just like a run cam Swift, but with far superior colors in there. That's the, the easiest way which I can explain it to you. Uh, so I've got a pair of those on the way to me right now. Now, I've seen other people say that the Eagle is the best camera out there right now, uh, and that Night Eagle does look really uh, curious, but I'm gonna be frank with you, uh, they are pushing my boundaries of what I will pay for an FPV camera. That Night Eagle is like 80 quid, somewhat ridiculously high priced. You've also seen my flying, uh, and uh, I can't put myself to put an 80 quid FPV camera on the front of my model. Uh, no matter how good it is. Uh, but the run cam owl, it, if I was pushing the boat out to say 35 quid uh, for a run cam swift or say 30 quid, uh, an extra five quid is not the end of the world. Uh, but up to like 80 or 60 pounds is, that's pushing my boundaries or my personal threshold uh, and I'm not going there. So I'm planning for the run cam owls and I've got two of those on the way to me so that that gets a couple of the models sorted. So we will get some FPV out on the C1 Chaser. Um, again, I'm, uh, I'm trying to think of the right word. Um, I'm cautious uh, on taking it out today uh, because I really do want to convert it to a uh, FPV model. And as much as I'd like to spank that one around the air, and it really was just like a big wing-wing, brilliant fun, uh, but on a serious note, I'd like to keep it in relatively good condition uh, because you just know that I will spank the living daylights out of it. Uh, and that does mean that the chances of me um, having a unscheduled landing with it are rather high. Uh, so I'd rather not take her to the flight line, leave her here so she stays pretty. Uh, and at least that when I go around to converting her to FPV, uh, we can all enjoy it there. So that's my reasoning why I'm not taking the C1 Chaser out. I just want it to look pretty uh, when we go and do an FPV maiden with her. And uh, just as a heads up, I can fit a 5,200 uh, milliamp fear 4 s battery in that. The flight times in it are gonna be epic. And I mean that, they're gonna be epic. If we can get that model to cruise around on six amps, six amps in a 5,200 milliamp fear battery pack, happy days happy days so from myself matt thank you ever so much for joining me for today's rc coffee chat 
I've got some batteries to make sure I've got charged. Oh, I will also be trying out that Turnigy 2K camera today uh, to see what that's like. I did spot the microphone is on the left, uh, so I don't know how that's going to come out if I'm holding that like that, pointing to myself. Uh, but I will try and talk to the right hand side of the camera uh, so that we get a little bit better audio quality because the only bad thing which I can say about a run cam 2 uh, is that the audio quality is shockingly bad. So anyway, with that said, for myself, Matt, cheerio, what was the fuck was that? Uh, cheerios. That was better, wasn't it? <laughs> See you soon. Bye-bye.